Hi, I'm Lincoln, and my mission is to empower the Orang Asli through ecotourism. There are about 150,000 Orang Asli in Malaysia. They are made up of 18 officially recognized tribes. The Orang Asli are also Malaysia's poorest and most disadvantaged of all our people groups. I've been going in and out of Orang Asli villages in Para, in Kelantan for about 12 years now. Every time I go into one village, I always find myself amazed and fascinated at their way of life. I find their way of life very primal. The way they hunted with blowpipes and poison darts, how they can find a trail and lay a spring trap, how they know exactly what food to gather from the jungles. It just thrilled me what they did. You know, then God planted a, a desire in my heart. I wanted people from the cities all around the world to be able to experience what I experience when they go into an Ornang Asli village too. The thought came to me, why not? Instead of always going into the Orang Asli villages and bringing supplies to them or bringing medical help to them, why not let the Orang Asli become teachers to the people outside who want to learn to reconnect with Mother Nature. When, when me and my wife Heidi started this mission, we were just scared as we have never been scared before. You know, when we started, we had no money to do it really. We didn't know what exactly to do because there was nobody to show us. Our greatest challenge was, I think, where were we going to get our clients from anyway? And there was really every chance for failure in our hearts we just said if god is not with us we could never do this but you know we prayed buckets about this and god poured down a whole storm of blessings for us when when we when we just decided to do this we used what little savings we we had to get the Orang Asli to build for us eco-survival huts in the jungle. Then we kind of ran out of money and we, we shared this with our, our church brothers and sisters and God connected us to brothers and sisters with the same heart and we had funding from our very own church members to build toilets, to get equipment we needed and also, God has sent a brother to finance the certification, training and licensing of the Orang Asli to become legitimate eco-tour guides. I had my first client, a Swiss-American couple whom I took into Ulu Geruntum in Gopeng Para. They stayed in Orang Asli bamboo huts, ate what the Orang Asli cooked for them they managed to see the world's biggest flower, the Raphelsia, and they saw butterflies puddling. They said it was the most incredible tour they have ever had in their life. You know, when you see that kind of joy in, in your clients, you want to just keep spreading it. And seeing how the Orang Asli were really really just also enjoying being teachers and hosts to this group of people said to us we were doing the right thing because God called us to do this. You know, when we respond to God's call, incredible things happen in our lives. God has, I'm sure, planted dreams and a mission in your heart. Respond to that and you will experience indescribable joy. If I can, you can too.